Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make multiple YouTube channels with one Gmail account on mobile phone. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we create multiple YouTube channels here? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to know if it's actually possible via the apps that YouTube provided. So that is YouTube or the YouTube app here as well as the YouTube Studio app. So currently, when we go to YouTube Studio here, we have a few options here. Like for example, we if you want to manage your channel, your videos here, this is where you'll need to go here in your mobile device. But with the app itself, certain features are actually quite limited. So for example, when we go to our dashboard here and go to our settings. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to our dashboard, dashboard first. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the profile icon at the top right and select settings. And from here, as you can see, we don't have any options to actually edit our channel. So in order for you to actually add multiple YouTube channels in your YouTube account here, what you need to do is you need to manage your YouTube channels, which in this case is going to be on YouTube Studio and in the settings section. But as you can see, it's not available here. So for you to manage your YouTube account or add or basically make multiple YouTube channels, you need to access the web version. So in this case, go ahead and open up any browser they have right now. So preferably, I'm using my Google Chrome browser here. So I went to YouTube.com here. And what we need to do is we need to go to YouTube Studio. Now at the top right, go ahead and click on your profile icon. So by the way, if you haven't logged in yet, go ahead and log in. And from here, we need to scroll down a bit here and look for YouTube Studio. So once you see YouTube Studio, go ahead and write, uh, the, uh, press and hold on it and open it in a new tab. So choose the open new tab option and let's go ahead and switch over to that specific tab. Now, why we why did we actually open this in a new tab? Well, typically when you actually access YouTube Studio here, it would automatically redirect you to the app itself or ask you to download it. That's why you need to open up open it up in a new tab. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to access our settings. So it's going to be at the bottom left here. So go ahead and click on that gear icon. And from here, we want to go to our channel settings. And from here, go to advanced settings. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit here. So in this case, you it might not be that good. So make sure to zoom out so that you should be able to see the whole thing here. And you should be able to scroll down the advanced settings section. Now at the very bottom, you should see the other settings section. Go ahead and click on the manage YouTube account option there. Now from here, it should open up a new tab. Then again, it is recommended that you open up, open this up in a new tab for you to actually access this. Now in this case, once you've done that, you should now be able to see this UI here. Now what we need to do is we need to choose the option that says create a new channel. But in this case, you could go ahead and click on manage a uh, create or manage a uh, YouTube channel here, which in this case, if you already have a YouTube channel, this thing here, it's going to say man create and manage. But since I only have one channel here, it's going to say create a new channel. Let's go ahead and select it. And from here, again, it should load up a new tab here and you should be able to see the screen here. So as you can see, it's not loading anything here. So make sure to switch over to the desktop version of it. So meaning you need to do a few setting changes here on your browser. So the top right, go ahead and click on the tree dot icon. And from here, choose the desktop site option there. Now from here, you should now be able to see the actual uh, YouTube ver uh, desktop version of it. So in this case, you can go and just enter the uh, channel name. So for example, this is going to be a um, uh, channel here. Uh, this, let's just say this is going to be the uh, channel name. So this is just an example, but you could go ahead and enter yours. Now in this case, it's going to uh, also you need to take the uh, I understand that uh, I'm creating a new Google account with its own settings, including YouTube search and watch history. So in this case, you could go and click on create here. And from here, that should create your account or your new channel here. And it should load up pretty quickly here. So let's just wait for it to fully load up. And as you can see right now, we now have our channel. So in this case, you could go ahead and just exit this one and go ahead and open up YouTube again. And typically when you go to the U at the bottom right here, you could go ahead and switch accounts if you want to. So as you can see, we now have that channel. So it's all under one uh, Google account or Gmail account here or Google account. So we have two channels, but one Gmail account. So in this case, go ahead and click on it and you should be able to switch over to that specific channel that we just created and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.